It would be a grave mistake to view anti-Semitism as something that merely affects the Jewish people. Anti-Semitism is a form of discrimination against citizens that affects all of us. You do see anti-Semitism correlating with an intolerance generally. That is fundamentally going to constitute a threat to the kind of discourse and tolerance that are the bedrock of our democracies. Historians of anti-Semitism have long argued that anti-Semitism, it begins with the Jews, but it never ends with the Jews. It transcends place. It transcends nationality. We can document anti-Semitic attacks through the Middle Ages, and we can document them certainly in the 20th century, and now we can document them in the 21st century. It has legs that I think other hatreds haven't had. Unfortunately, we are facing in Europe, all over Europe, a very strong resurgence of anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism today is fundamentally different than what it was before the Holocaust, because it is not perpetrated by governments. Even if some of the stereotypes and prejudices are those we know for centuries. The problem is that in our Muslim communities in Europe, uh, we have a few thousands of radicalized youth. These jihadists are rapidly anti-Semitic. We never know whether they are going to cross the red line of terrorism, and some do. Often their targets are Jewish institutions or Jews. We see across Europe an increase of right-wing extremist parties these parties are not anymore considered as being on the fringe of societies. And their messages, their ideologies, are more and more seen as something that is acceptable. Sometimes it's camouflaged by, we don't want those who are different, a general anti-immigrant, anti-minority view. You have as well a new form of anti-Semitism that is closely linked with anti-Zionism and hostility towards Israel. There is legitimate criticism of the policies of Israel, but there is a fine line that some people cross very easily between criticism of Israel and anti-Semitism. Where it gets very problematic is when one starts to hear that the state of Israel doesn't have the right to exist. When one starts to hear Israelis or Israel itself being demonized and the concerted effort to delegitimate the state and the people. That is anti-Semitism. I think that most of the anti-Semitism in the Middle East is misinformed. It is to group people against a common enemy. Holocaust denial is a form of anti-Semitism. The only reason to deny the Holocaust is to inculcate and foster anti-Semitism. One place where hardcore denial is very much in vogue is in the Middle East. The audience often are anti-Semites who are looking to have their feelings confirmed, or people who might not be overt anti-Semites, but somehow are discomforted with the idea of Jew as victim. I think for anyone, anti-Semitism should be an important topic and subject. If it's going on in Pakistan, it should be important to someone living in Kansas City. We are a connected global community. If you leave anti-Semitism unresponded to by law enforcement, by governments, by political leaders, then you send this message that it's tolerated, that it's completely accepted. What you're seeing now is states, at least in, in Europe, where there's been the biggest upsurge, seeking to combat those crimes. More needs to be done. We we'll stand together against discrimination against minority, with Christians, or anti-Semitism. We we'll stand together shoulder to shoulder because our religion, all of us, call us to stand as one family. It is extremely important that parts of our society 
that aren't themselves being targeted by anti-Semitism see this as a warning. When anti-Semitic discrimination or violent acts happen, it is a threat to liberal society, and citizens around the world have an interest in thwarting it and in speaking out against it. Recent threats targeting Jewish community centers and vandalism of Jewish cemeteries, as well as last week's shooting in Kansas City, remind us that we are a country that stands united in condemning hate and evil in all of its very ugly forms. There's a well-worn tradition in most societies of marginalizing the other. Xenophobia, Islamophobia, anti-Semitism starts as rhetoric, very quickly migrates to discrimination and can result in violence. It is extremely important that parts of our society that aren't themselves being targeted by anti-Semitism see this as a warning. When anti-Semitic discrimination or violent acts happen, it is a threat to liberal society.